energy. The present era of climate emergency is underlined by our constant need for energy. We're all in this vast interconnected system whose functioning depends on energy in vast amounts. In this context, we're often made to feel like there's something inherently wrong with us as human beings, something about our flawed human nature, our insatiable desire to use energy and consume. And while that may be true for some powerful humans, we don't really get closer to ecological justice by focusing on scarcity and constant self-punishment. So why don't we focus on energy abundance? What would it be like if we had endless energy? Would we spend less? Would we live more pleasantly? Less war, more interdependency. Energy abundance for the 21st century. Energy's in everything. Everything that happens. The Greek energia means being in action. Everybody needs it. We eat it and we breathe it in. Every being needs energy to be the very thing it is. And so we live. But at risk of being pedantic, it seems our means of getting it have gotten problematic. The way that certain persons have perverted it or planned it, human energy expenditure is burning through our planet. Damn it. It really makes you question your worth. Am I even worth the energy it takes to make me work? The energy it takes to play this beat, to say this verse. If the work we do as humans just makes being on Earth worse. We have to use less. Well, yes, but who's we? The few humans left when we're underneath the sea. What becomes of you and me in this energy gridlock? Watching the extinction clock tick on our TikTok. But who even cares? I'm running out of energy for even being scared. I'm tired of empty promises, a cleaner seas of airs. In a system that relies on basic needs being scarce. What we need is energy abundance. And not just for some of us bundled in our bunkers. So don't just tell the people to consume less now. It's not just what fuel we use, but how. What would it be like if we had endless energy? Will we spend less? Will we live more ethically? Will we be less divided into economic enemies? Will we find abundance in the 21st century? If energy was free, what would that do? For the cost of heat, for the cost of food Could we set ourselves free from the powerful few And the constant use of fossil fuels? There's a schism in the environmental movement between often excessive technological optimism and the equally extreme pessimistic opinion that all of our problems are technology's fault. But it's not an either or. We need a both and. Forward into the future and back to the land. It's not just one plan. We need every one we got. The question is, are we going to use them or not? Endless energy, now where would that be found? Not by this obsession with the oil in the ground, but a coordinated interplay of integrated factors, both renewables and safer use of nuclear reactors. For if energy's in everything, every leaf and centipede, and every bit of matter, it's a matter of what method we endeavor with to send it free to open it like sesame until it's so abundant that it's almost free essentially. The Jevons paradox states that improvements in energy efficiency actually increase the amount of energy consumed. When we produce more efficient technologies, we don't use less we use more the problem's not consumption itself but the way we consume the well-being or wealth so let us evolve both creators and consumers we don't need to fear the future but to bring it here sooner we can make sustainable tools to recycle loose carbon into hydrocarbon fuels that in turn can be recycled as we gather what's there we reduce the co2 that's been trapped in the air we can scatter and share food in vertical gardens that all can take part in from within their apartments we can make it like star trek let's get our forward think on before sea level rises past the wharf that we cling on technology and ethics are often in tension we can solve that tension with conscious intention and constant attention to the end for the sake of which the energies expended are sent of the sacred there's a sacred way to harvest a sacred way of fission can there also be a sacred use of nuclear fission to split the very atom like we're splitting some wood in the actual intention of the love of the good fuel is a means to an end if we don't change fuels it will mean our end and what that means is we must change fuels now and there's many ways to do it leaving oil in the ground and even now i guess our greatest resource is the infinite within us our connection to the source don't force it, just effortlessly trust it. The future is the present and it's energy abundance. What would it be like if we had endless energy? Energy's in everyone, no one is my enemy. The only thing to fear is fear itself and lethargy. Arguing amidst ourselves in climate action entropy. If energy was free, what would it do? For the cause of life, for the cause of truth. But we set ourselves free as we are essentially. The 21st century, endless energy.